I'm Allie. And I'm Theo. And we are Allie and Theo. And today we are watching Ruby Volume 3, Chapter 6, Fall. That's ominous. That is ominous. Especially with how the last episode ended. Yeah. Isn't it? I was told that there's plot happening too. Oh boy. Which there I, is plot. Makes me a little terrified. Uh, so uh, I think we should jump right into this one. <laughs> okay. It comes as no surprise that they've chosen you to move on to the final round of the tournament. Your performance has been exemplary. Thank you, Professor Mosspin, but I would never have made it this far without my teammates. Personally, I think it's the other way around. I agree with Crow. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't believe we've been introduced. You're like, who's are you? <laughs> Crow is a trusted colleague of mine. Colleague is one way to put it. don't mind me asking, why have you called me here? Please, take a seat. That's ominous. You're being real shifty, Oz. What's your favorite fairy tale? Why is his desk like that? I'm sorry? Fairy tales. Stories from your childhood. Surely you must remember some of them. Well, there's the tale of the two brothers. The Shallow Sea, The Girl in the Tower. What about the story mm. of the seasons? Oh, of course. A realization. The palace old man who refuses to leave his home is visited by four traveling sisters. The first understands his reclusive nature and urges him to use his time I love this art style. To reflect and meditate. I like it too, it's pretty dope. The second brings him fruits and flowers, tending to his crops and revitalizing his garden. The third warms the man's heart. Convincing him to step outside and embrace the world around him. And the fourth and final sister begs him to look at all that he has and be thankful. I feel like two of those sisters are pulling a little bit more weight than the others. Yeah. So that they may continue to help others all over the world. They graciously accept and promise to share their gifts with the people of Remnant until the end of days. Winter, spring, Summer and fall. How was Osborne? My mother loves that story. Would you believe me if I told you that one's been around since I was a boy? You're not that old, Professor. Well, would you believe me if I told you it was true? Yes. He's the he's the old man. I beg huh. your pardon? Huh, no comment. What he's the old man. That there were four maidens existing in this world that could wield such tremendous power. Out dust. You mean like a semblance? Like magic. I. Yeah, first time here and it's pretty crazy. You're serious? Do I look like I'm joking? You don't look like you've ever made a joke. No. Why? Why are you telling me this? We are telling you, Pyrrha Nikos, because we believe that you are next in line to receive the Fall Maiden's powers. We? Mm -hmm. Sorry we're late. Wait. What is this? Who are you? You know who we are. Pyrrha is afraid. We're I would be too. We're still the teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Except we've got a little part-time job. We are the protectors of this world, and we need your help. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. Hmm. Nah, sister, you ain't getting me to a secondary location. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking her to the secondary location! Here, get out of there! <laughs> I don't like this weird green cavern. Yeah. Maybe one or two. I still don't understand. 
You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maiden's what indeed? existed for thousands of years. But much like in nature... How old is Ozpin? No two summers yeah. Ago. When a Maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host, ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. So, how does the power choose? Through a series of stupid and convoluted rules. Crow. Hey, don't get mad because I'm right. At first, the only AGM. thing that was certain was that the powers were specifically passed on to young women. But as time went on, it was discovered that the selection process was much more... <clears throat> I don't like that sentence. Intimate. As we understand it now, when a maiden dies, the one who is in her final thoughts is the first candidate to inherit her power. Unless it's a dude, unless I'm old hag. Then the power goes to someone random. Her job's getting a lot harder. Why tell me all of this now? Why not wait until I've graduated? Honestly? We've run out of time. I don't know if you've noticed, but things are getting a lot scarier. Wait, are they implying that she's already had the power, or that she will get it? She'll get it. That she will get it. Where this peace we've all been enjoying so much goes out the window. You're not talking about war. Not a war between nations. We can fill you in on the details once we know you're with us. For now, that seemed like quite a bit of details for not knowing she's with you. And for the first time in history. Part of her power was stolen. How? How? Ooh, what? Yeah. Why they got that girl in a jar? <laughs> current fall. Meal. Well, Amber. She's still alive. For now, we're using state-of-the-art Atlas technology to keep her stable. But there is a lot about this situation that is unprecedented. What do you mean? Well, we don't know what will happen if, when she passes. Won't her power just transfer to the next host? Look who's been listening. Her she oh, is are you Under normal circumstances. Asshole. I know, right? But this is a delicate situation. It's not uncommon for the last thoughts of the slain to be of their attacker. And to make matters worse, no one's ever seen the power split like this before. For all we know, it will seek out its other half. Her assailant. And that would not bode well for any of us. It would not. Who's her assailant? Who indeed? If all of this is true, why keep it secret? If this girl is so important, if, if we're truly on the brink of war, why not tell everyone? From what we understand, it used to be common knowledge. Excuse me? How do you think legends and fairy tales get started? Even the craziest ones come from somewhere. Our group was founded in order to protect both mankind and the maidens. He does. Those hungry for power hunted them with the hope of inheriting their strength. And as you just talked that entire class, the ones that yeah, succeeded weren't exactly the kind of people you'd want to have unimaginable power. And so this brotherhood chose to remove the maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away in the legend. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history, religion. No one would want to believe us. It'd cause an uproar. It would cause panic. And we all know what that would bring clawing to our kingdom's walls. Which is why we would like to... I'll do it. If you <clears throat> believe this will help humanity, then I will become your fall maiden. Not that simple. That's what you wanted, isn't it? It is. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. Given Amber's condition, you won't be able to inherit her power. Now. What are they gonna do to Pharaoh? However, yeah. you're higher you know. Means he has a solution. <sighs> For the past few years, Atlas has been studying Aura from a more scientific standpoint. How it works, what it's made of, how it can be used. We've made significant strides. Yeah, you have. And we believe we found a way to capture it. 
capture it and cram it into something else. Or in your case. That's... Classified. Wrong. The feeling is mutual. The desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life would become intertwined with yours. The question is, what's that gonna do to you? <sighs> That's fucked up. This show took a turn. Yeah. You, Didn't it? There's no guarantee this transfer will and there's no telling if you will be the same person. Because your aura is a manifestation of I your soul. You to take time to think on this matter. But understand that before the vital festival is over, we will need your answer. The assailant that attacked the Fall Maiden has made their first move. And there's no telling when their next move will be. I'm assuming Cinder was the assailant. Yeah. Now for the you've all been waiting for, the the one on one finals. finals. Yang, Sun is there. Penny, Mercury, Pira. Some other people that look really cool. Uh, it's quite simple, Peter. Instead of a bracket system, each round of the finals will be randomly determined immediately before the match takes place. Much like any good hunt, there will be zero time to prepare. Like battle uh, yes, yes. Now let's see who our first match will be. Uh, they're one-on-one -on -one fights. So. They're just randomly determined right before the fight, so you don't have any time to prepare against who you're fighting. Mercury versus Yang. really didn't have to do that. What? They, they could have just d decided and then had them go to the stage. Yeah, I guess they just wanted to introduce all eight finalists. No special arena for the finals, it's just a fight. Ooh. You better not go easy on me. <laughs> you wish. Told you that was Yuri Lowenthal. Three, what else has he done? Two, oh, he's done a lot of stuff. Five, Anime, video games, all kinds of stuff. The two things I know him, I guess three things I know him best for are this, Naruto, and Kogias. Oh, and he's the main character of Persona 3. And... Is that the TV one? Uh, no, that's 4. Mercury's aura. Yeah, baby. What a way to kick off the finals! She had 16 aura left. Wow. Let's fight.
Ooh. He didn't have any aura left. Ooh. She just broke his fucking leg. Oh, yep. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh. All that negativity. My leg. My leg. That's what you get, you little. Huh? Yang Xiao Long, stand down. Wait, did he bait her on purpose? What? Why? Watch. Mercury! Why'd she do that? Why'd she attack me? Did they not see that he attacked her first? Watch. What? What indeed? Uh, yup. Wasn't that fun? That was an episode. Yup. Jeez. Yang broke his leg. You wouldn't like her when she's upset. <sighs> he came at her though. Not what the camera said. How did they fucking send her doctor that shit, probably? So, your thoughts on fall? <laughs> I'm like, side with like horizontal mouth emoji right now. I'm just <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that was an episode one. She's wasn't being it? fucking gaslit. Like, yeah, he's being fucking gaslit yep. by, like, the cameras yep. and the military. Like, well, everyone looked horrified. I don't think everyone saw what Yang saw. I think, I think all the people saw what the camera saw. Oh. Wait. You saw Team Ruby, they looked horrified. Wait, did Yang, what? Did Cinder, like... If somebody like influence her. And then, you know, there was the whole maiden thing too. Yeah. Mercury has been diagnosed with bony leg. <laughs> <laughs> Ali sent me this picture earlier. It was like a screenshot from like, it was like a Facebook. Can comment. I can I read it? Yeah, go for it. Find it. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun, sadly. I can't be there due to have been diagnosed as having a bone in my leg. XXX, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know we're gonna be watching that epi this episode? No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. Um, <laughs> we still have to talk about Pura. Fuck. And okay, maidens. that's true. Yeah, Austin's uh, grooming maidens, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 real sketchy. <laughs> and then also the aura transfer machine. It's gonna like. That's a whole level of fucked up. Sucker is <laughs> that machine from the Princess Bride. <laughs> Except for they don't attach it to her nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Pira uh, didn't have the brain cell in that episode because she went to a secondary location. <laughs> she went to a secondary location and she didn't bring her money club. <laughs> uh, if you don't understand that reference, uh, please watch John Mulaney's no special. Go, go to Netflix and watch all of John Mulaney's comedy specials. <laughs> watch Radio City. Uh, please watch Kid Gorgeous at Radio City. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. That was a good episode, but I'm. Fear. <laughs> Many fear. I'm filled with fear and also bones. <laughs> and with that, <laughs> I think we should end that episode here. If you have any suggestions for more content for us to make, leave them in the comments here or in the DM of our Twitter. Um. The link to that will be in the description. Our at is uh, Ali and Theo YT, uh, and it will be in the end card of the video as well. Uh, so we will see you next time. Bye.